Hi, my name is Stuart with Metro Home Theater Group. Today we're going to discuss features and functions of SpyClops products. So when setting up a SpyClops IP camera, you'll need to know what LAN configuration you're already connecting them to. Um, if you don't already know what the IP address is uh, for the LAN, um, there's two places you can check. You can, already, you can check what the uh, IP address is uh, in the DVR once you've enabled DHCP, uh, or on a Windows PC, you can run command by typing CMD, and then you can type in IP config. And what this information will show you is the LAN IP that you have for your PC and also the gateway. Uh, what we're paying attention to are the first three octets of the IP address. Uh, in the case of this PC, it's on 192.168.100.161. Now what that means is, uh, unfortunately, uh, Spyclops cameras come static IP uh, out of the box. Our uh, bullet cameras come at, set at 192.168.1.168. And our IP PTZ camera comes at 192.168.1.110. So in order to be able to see those cameras, uh, once I connect them to my network, I'm going to need to make a quick change to my PC just so I can get to where I see it. Um, and to do that, we're just going to get to our uh, network adapter settings um, by going to Network Center and we're going to change the adapter settings. And uh, more importantly, we're going to um, go to our IPv4 settings. And what we're going to do is just double click on the IPv4 settings and we're going to change the information. Instead of telling it automatically where it's getting all the information from your router, um, we're going to predefine that information. Um, and since our cameras are on our 192.168.1 uh, situation, we're going to put our PC on the same, same one. So in this case, uh, we're going to assign an IP address of 192.168.1.2. And the subnet mask will always be, the uh, first three octets will be 255, so it will be 255.255.255.0. And we'll, we'll assign a gateway of 192.168.1.1. Now, once you've done, you've done this, it's important that you click OK to get all of these uh, sections closed or it won't actually take effect. Um, but once you've done that, we can actually minimize these. And uh, now we're going to actually log into it. Now, we won't be connected to the internet anymore um, because we're not getting information. We're not actually connected to the router uh, in this network anymore. We're actually just connected to Nowhere Land. However, the cameras that we've already connected to this network are also in Nowhere Land, and we need to fix that. It's important once you've set up your IP cameras, you've logged in, you've changed and assigned IP addresses to each of those cameras. And remember, each one has to have a unique IP address per camera. Um, it's important to go ahead and set your network back the way it was, because now we want to be able to actually access that network with our PC. So we're going to open up the Ethernet uh, section here. We're going to go to Properties. And we're going to change our IPv4 settings. And we're going to switch it back to Obtain Automatically. Uh, for the IP address and also correct it for the DNS server address. Set that all back to automatic and we'll click OK and then OK and we'll close that. And now we'll be back on our network where we can actually be internet connected and also connect to the same cameras. For more information and helpful videos, please visit us at metrahometheater.com.